The sad news that Lionel Messi has left Barcelona after being in the football club for many, many years. And it's come to a point where I'm sharing some similar news. As you can see, the workshop is totally empty. Like Messi, I've been in this industry for 25, 30 years. I've done it all my life and that's all I've ever done is customised cars. I started when I was 14 years old, now I'm 40. And do I need a change? Do I want to do something different? Am I bored of the motor industry? Am I bored of customising cars? Have I reached my limit, my peak? And maybe I want to do something different? But never in my business journey have I ever had an empty workshop. God has always blessed me with work. I've always had work five days a week, customising cars, and if I could, I could customise cars seven days a week, 24 hours a day. But it's come to an end where I've had to see an empty workshop. And it's sad to see this. There's no staff, there's no cars, there's no noise, it's silent. So some uh, lads that need to come, I need to break the news to them as well that they've lost their job and uh, I think I've got one coming up now. I'll just have to break the news. What's going on here? There's no people, no cars. You know, my name is Naveed yeah. and my name means bearer of good news. That's what it means. Okay. But unfortunately today I have to do the opposite. I have to be the bearer of bad news Jeez. and which is no cars means no work, no work means no money. no money means why am I here why are you here oh. which means no job do you understand so you got to keep the you got to you got to flow with it do you understand make sure you're looking at what you're polishing and it's got to be a better finish okay, okay. Well, what we're doing now is waiting for Nav to go downstairs so that... No, he's not going downstairs, never mind. I'm working. You got a douche back on your head. Yeah. And you got a face mask. You got overalls, steel toe caps. Or you just goggles. And you can fly off to space. So, with a... It sad was... to say, it's, it was short but sweet. Oh yeah. It was emotional. Yeah. I hope you've learned a lot from me. I have. And uh, I hope you can continue in this industry. Don't give up, whatever you do. Oh. And uh, now you can let go of my hand now. And uh, I know you don't want to let go. And yeah. I, I genuinely know it's you don't want to let go, but it's hard. But look, I know it was your dream job yeah. to work here. You've always wanted to do it as a kid. You went to college, yeah. you studied hard just so you can come and work with me. And you did work hard. And obviously, I, you know, I'm, I feel honored that you work with me as well. And I hope you learn a lot and I hope you continue your journey. And if you ever need any advice, I'm here for you. You know, while I pick up the pieces and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean... Right, okay mate, all the best. You too. Take care, yeah. See you later. No cars, no Range Rovers, no G-Wagons, no 4x4s, no body kits, no painting, no grinding, no sanding, nothing. Nothing at all. And the reason for this is... might be quite sad for some of you. Or for some of you, it might be quite joyous. And the reason for this is because I'm renovating the place and I'm bringing it back to life and I'm gonna step it up, guys. Yes, there's no way I'm closing this place down. There's no way I'm stopping in this industry. There's no way I'm giving in. Not that easily, guys. So for all the haters out there, if you thought that I was closing down, I'm not. Sorry for being the bearer of bad news or bearer of good news. I'm coming back all fresh with new content new customizations, new cars, and some fresh news. So stay tuned guys. We've just renovated the whole workshop. We've painted all the floor, we emptied all the workshop out. We didn't book no cars in this week because once in a while you need to have a rest. You need to take a step back to take two steps forward. And that's exactly what we're doing here at NCARS. And we've got some great news to share with you guys. I think it's time to fill up the workshop. 
voila, the workshop is full of customized cars. Let's go around the workshop and give you a quick update on some of the cars that we're working on and some fresh content that's gonna be coming on the following weeks. So stay tuned, guys. Starting off, we've got the Barakzai Porsche Cayenne. This is our new body kit that we've uh, we're launching in a couple of weeks time. So stay tuned for this one guys. I don't want to show you too much, but this is a wide body kit. Oh, the noise is back as well. Loving it. Music to my ears. And it's got the 24 inch XL alloy wheels on here. It consists of a front lip spoiler, wide arches, door pods, rear diffuser, and a rear spoiler as well. And also a bonnet. And obviously this car does not need an introduction. I'm sorry. This is one of the most expensive car paint I've ever used on a car. So stay tuned for this vlog guys, because this was a big job and an expensive job as well. Expensive meaning the paint cost me a fortune. How much? Well, you have to wait till the vlog comes out to see how much I spent on the paintwork on this car. Got a G-Wagon here. This was a 2010 G-Wagon that we converted to a 2021 G63. Yes, that's going to be big in the coming years. If you've got an old G-Wagon and you want to convert it to make it look like the brand new 2021 G63, then you need to contact us straight away, guys. Coming over here now, hang on a minute, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is real exclusive stuff. Right behind me is our Barakzai Falcon Defender body kit that I've been yapping on about for a few months now. Like I said, all good things come to those who wait. Because in the meanwhile, we've been also designing our Porsche Cayenne body kit as well. At the same time, we've been doing the Defender, but I wanted to get it right and uh, I'm almost there. So hopefully in a few weeks time, we will be revealing our new Defender body kit. Just had a, oh, what's going on over here then? Right, so uh, we've had a little dent on over here. We've, uh, unfortunately we're driving the car out and we scraped the wheel arch. So uh, got to paint that before we uh, do the launch. Right, Janet, is it all prepped? Yeah. Right, okay, so what I'll do then, I'll paint this Defender myself. This is quite personal to me because I've worked on this from start to finish, from the design aspect, from the manufacturing, to the fitting as well, and the video shoot, which I'll be doing with my colleague just behind me. Right, anyway. One of our most popular body kits, the Cabaro. Now this is our signature color as well and it's all been modified. It's got the 24 inch XL alloy wheels with an awesome interior. So these are some of the cars that we will be showing in our future vlogs. So stay tuned guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's really important because we've got some fresh content for you guys and something a little bit different. It will be all just cars. It'll be, well, I can't be revealing everything, right? So just stay tuned. So we've got a Land Rover Discovery in the workshop here today as well. This has come all the way from Kent and uh, the customers fit in the Land Rover Barakzai Discovery 5 body kit on here. And uh, this is a very popular kit of ours. Uh, if you remember recently, we did one and we sent it to our Barakzai Signature Vehicle showroom in Newcastle. And as soon as it got there, it sold. The customer will be collecting the car today and uh, hopefully we'll be doing the reveal of that car as well towards the end of the show. So hopefully he likes this car. This is a very popular kit of ours. So uh, watch out for this one. And also we're putting on the 22 inch gloss black opium alloy wheel to set it off. I feel like painting today. So let's head over to the June Air spray booth and paint some panels. Something's going on already because I've got to paint the Defender. I've got to paint the wheel arch that we accidentally scraped. But let's see what's going on in the June Air spray booth. Luke, are you in there? Oh, yeah, no. Hey? Oh, yeah, no. Can I get a Defender in? No, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Come on, mate, I need to paint it today. Well, how long are you going to be in there? All day. What are you painting in there, Luke? Everything. Everything? Two bumpers, parts for the Discoverer. Two bumpers, parts for the Discoverer. Parts for the Defender as well. Parts for the Defender as well. I thought I'm painting the Defender. Well, I'm painting the car, right? Yeah. Anything else? Uh, I think that's how, how can you get all them things in there? I don't believe you. Shall we go have a look? Let's go have a look. Show us, Luke. One eh? One oh, you got one more spoiler to put in as well. I'll meet you down the other side. Go, you get the spoiler in. Right, he has got a hell of a lot of things in here, hasn't he? He'll be tripping over himself. Look at that. Luke, out. Listen. 
what's going on here? <laughs> How are you supposed to maneuver through all these panels? Fly! Yeah, through the roof, on the girders. <laughs> Listen, I, c I can do everything but fly. <laughs> That's one thing I can't do, Luke, I'm sorry. Do you know what I mean? Even if you put that spoiler on it, it won't give me wings. Okay? Look, seriously, how am I supposed to paint all these panels? It's like an assault course. I mean, look, if I start from here, yeah, but I run through here, round over here, from look over here, through over there, round over there. Oh, he's going back down there. Round over here, back over here, look, through here, back there. Look at that. How am I supposed to paint doing that? It's impossible. Or is it possible? Let's find out. to move a few trestles about just so it's easy for me to maneuver I've just got my paint overalls on I know I need a new set of overalls they're on order I don't paint too uh, often but when I do obviously it does get a little bit messy and uh, I just keep going at it I just don't stop until the lad say okay enough now you can get out of the workshop and let us carry on with it uh, because you know once I start getting my hands onto cars and customizing and painting it's like an addiction to me honestly I just can't stop it Right, anyway, let's mix the paint up and just splatter some paint on these panels. in here guys anyway I've added the first coat of base coat on all the panels you can see me maneuvering through all the trestles and making sure that all the paint is on the panels I don't leave no edges but anyway this is the first coat I'm gonna add another two or three coats make sure it's covered then add the clear coat well that's me at my best painting and uh, I love painting guys but by trade I'm a panel beater like I told you and I've learned painting over the years with experience and uh, like I said you've seen I've still got that artistic flair anyway let's add a few more coats on there I put the clear coat on and then get the defender in right okay so the cars in the spray booth I'm just gonna get it all masked up and then put the paint on and uh, this is our commercial spray booth by the way so we can get the uh, long vehicle, commercial vehicles in here. Very high, very long as well. Uh, perfect for the 4x4s and uh, it obviously it bears the weight of these uh, heavy duty vehicles. Right, anyway, let's get this car painted. Right, so once you've painted, obviously you've got to keep your guns clean. So I'm just cleaning all the guns up, because if you don't, you won't have a good paint job. That's oh, no, right. how you doing, mate? Right, Listen, after a good paint job, there's only one thing that I need. It's a DCT. A DCT from FIP. From the pit. There you go, mate. You That's a large cup as well. I've got your last cup. Oh! Let me try this, man. Alright, thank you. Thank you Astrid, perfect, nice DCT, after a good paint job. Okay, so the customer's here to collect his Discovery 5. Now I'll just get Imran to do the reveal. Come all the way from Kent, drop the car off on Monday. We needed it for a couple of days, you couldn't do it in one day, because it's quite a big job. Or we can put the a front one for the body side body kit, full colour code, calipers and alloy wheels. What do you think of it? 
Oh, love it. It was really well worth it. Car's all finished, painted, drills painted, nice glass finish. So we've left that little insert in there black. I think by breaking that off and painting it silver, obviously it complements the body kit. It looks more aggressive. Anyway, grill's done. Uh, wheel arch as well. We had a little accident with the wheel arch. As you can see, nice gun finish. Doesn't need buffing, of course. So this car is almost complete now. While we're on that note of uh, the Defender, We've designed this body kit from start to finish. So we've got the front bumper, bonnet, roof spoiler, back bumper, and the side vents. The only one thing that I didn't design uh, was the rear spoiler. Now, there was this rear spoiler that was available all over eBay, Alibaba, AliExpress, wherever. It's uh, available anywhere to anyone to buy. So I contacted the supplier, thought I'd save some time, and I'll just buy the spoiler direct off them. Just the samples, and we put on our Expedition uh, Land Rover Defender that we did. So we use that rear spoiler thinking that it's a universal rear spoiler, but surprisingly, uh, there's a UK car styling company that's claiming that that's their rear spoiler that they've designed and it's been copied by the Chinese. Now, I'm not sure how true that is, uh, but anyway, I contacted my supplier, put this message uh, towards them and they said, no, this is not true at all. This is their spoiler. They sent me all the 3D renders, all the designs, the dates when they designed it as well, and also the dimensions of the spoiler. And they said it's nothing like uh, the car styling company that you're talking about that's based in the UK that are claiming that that's their design. Whoa, freaking hell. Anyway, this is the rear spoiler that we're talking about now. And uh, it's made in plastic, by the way, not fiberglass, not carbon fiber. It's plastic and it fits really well. So uh, obviously to save time, we just bought this universal spoiler to add onto our Expedition Pack Defender. If it is their spoiler and it is their design, I'll respect that and I won't use it. Right, so I've got my own spoiler. Don't worry guys, we've got our own Falcon Barak Zai spoiler. They're also claiming that this bonnet that they've also put on one of their defenders is their bonnet and it's the first that they've put on. Now that's not true because I personally designed this bonnet myself. I can prove that if I need to. But anyway, we fit this bonnet three months ago on our defender, our very first defender that we did. Here's a video to prove it. So while we're on the note of bonnets, I've also designed a similar bonnet for the Range Rover Vogue L405. So before anybody claims that, I've done that. We're the first to have that bonnet, we've designed it. And I can also prove the design rights, etc. I can continue going on, but listen, I'm not gonna deal with petty things like that. If they wanna use the bonnet, please use it. Right, so anyway, this car is almost complete, guys. And you've seen the other cars that we are working on, the Range Rovers, G-Wagons, Porsche, Cayennes. We've got a few other body kits coming soon as well. And the new Range Rover will be launching, hopefully, sometime next year. So we're looking forward to ordering that. Uh, we've told Land Rover, as soon as that comes out, get us first on the list so we can design our body kit for that as well. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share all our videos and share all the love. But don't share your designs, of course. And I'll see you next time.